Currently in World of Warcraft, there's 12 different classes to choose from, and if you are a new player, or even an old player looking to make a new main or an alt, picking a class to play can be a really tough decision. So in this video, we're going to count down my top 5 reasons why you should play the Pyroblasting, Frostbolting, Arcane Barraging Mage. Number 5. Mobility. As a destruction warlock myself, nothing makes me more jealous of a mage than their mobility, because they've got loads of it. Want a moving cast? No problem, just use Icy Flows or Scorch, which by the way can be talented to make you run faster. Need to move distances quickly? Haha, <laughs> no worries, just blink or use Displacement. But what if you want to move distances, but don't want to stop casting? Just talent into Shimmer and you can blink whilst casting. Mages have tons of ability which makes them, in my book, a hell of a lot of fun to play. Number 4. Portals. We've all been there, you know you need to go back to the city but your half on cooldown and you're a 10 minute flight away, it's pretty annoying. But as a mage, this idea of misfortune you laugh at because you have portals. No waiting for your half to come off cooldown, no boring and tedious flight because all you have to do is click a button and BAM. Another great thing about mage portals is that you can also create them for your raid and party to use. I remember back in vanilla when the flight paths were awful, epic mounts were super expensive and hearthstones had a 60 minute cooldown, I was super jealous of mages and their portals. Number 3. Crowd Control Since the dawn of the world of Warcraft, mages have been CC gods. Pretty much every frost mage ability has a slow effect, the spam polymorph, ring of frost, airy roots, dragon's breath and a ranged interrupt. This plethora of crowd control in the mage arsenal has caused them to be pretty dominant in the PvP scene since day one. Not only that, the mage CC is also more than welcome in the PvE side of the game as well. In a mythic plus and too many mobs have been pulled, no worries, you're a mage. You can use your roots to keep the mobs in place so your tank can gain some distance, you can polymorph a dangerous add, or interrupt that mob that's casting at range. Just a few instances of money where mage CC can save the day. Number 2. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. In fantasy stories, in my opinion, the wizards are the coolest and most badass characters. Got Gandalf, Dumbledore, Doctor Strange. As a mage, you are the WoW equivalent of those gangsters. Shooting fireballs, shards of ice, missiles of arcane energy. Blinking around the place and making portals to instantaneously cross the world, mages are pretty much in every fantasy world ever and for a good reason. They're awesome in pretty much every single way. Number 1. All specs are different. When it comes to choosing a class to play, a lot of people will want one they won't get bored of fast and the great thing about the mage, even though all of their 3 specs are ranged spellcasters, each one plays completely different and you know what they say? Variety is the spice of life. Fire is this fast paced spec, all about instant pyroblast procs and trying to increase the damage that the ignite dot deals. Frost is all about spamming frost bolts, slowing and freezing everything in its path, building up ice lances and brain freeze procs for huge bursts, and then arcane. Arcane is all about building up arcane charges, the more charges you have, the more damage your abilities will do. So those are my top 5 reasons to play the mage in World of Warcraft. I plan on turning this into a series, so let me know in the comment section below what class you think I should do next. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more World of Warcraft content. Thanks for watching guys, cheers.